Kim, the weather is getting colder, which means the games are getting more meaningful. And you've got a really big one on Sunday. What has the energy been like since you guys have come back from the bye? Um, everybody enjoyed their bye week. I'd say um, by the end of your bye week, you have a few days off, you're itching to get back to football. So I feel like the energy coming back is really feeling like that first week of training camp when everybody's like excited to be out there on the field and excited to get back just because we know the momentum we're coming off of five wins in a row and those were big games too so uh, we're trying to ride that momentum you can't miss a beat it's going to be a divisional game against the lions a team that scored 40 plus points in back-to-back -back games right. did you get a chance to watch any of their last contests yeah i was flying back to minnesota watching it so i wasn't able to sleep on the plane so i was able to study that game really deeply and really? see the type of team that they are and seeing the success that they had, they'll exploit all your weaknesses. So going into it, we want to make sure that we're just on point with every little thing and that comes from our preparation. You know, Kim, there really haven't been that many mistakes. You guys are leading the league in interceptions. Yeah, we are, <laughs> but we know that there's a lot of more plays out there. They blitz Roger. Intercepted, picked off by Van Ginkle, and is loose! Little small things, we looked, how can we be great instead of just being good? And I feel like we've been really good this season, but we want to be great, so there's a lot of more work to do. It's a movie, Mr. International! We did that! It's a movie! How do you guys sustain this level of play week in and week out when more and more teams see what you all are capable of? This is a team that is bringing pressure. See, I mean, it feels like all the time. Love. Faces a blitz, and he's sacked! The small discipline of the technique and the fundamentals can really carry you through a whole season to have success and really knowing that 5-0 and means nothing and knowing the next win, okay, it's cool, but we got to move on. And every single week, whether it's success or whether it's a fail with the loss, um, no matter what your situation is, you have to get better every single day. How do you personally stay disciplined? Because that's not an easy thing to do, <laughs> right. especially when there's so many other things you could be doing. Um, just knowing what the end goal is. I know I want to be one of the best players in the league. I want to be the best safety in the league. I want to win a Super Bowl. If my mo majority of my day isn't trying to get better at football, then all those things, my end goals, really I won't see them. And I've really understood that since mm -hmm. being a kid and being a smaller recruit, being an undersized player, Growing up, getting drafted in the fourth round, having to change positions as soon as I got to league. So I feel like everything, my whole career, my whole life really has been uh, with my back against the wall. We need to start calling him ball hawk Cameron Bynum. How can I work my way out of this? How can I use my work eth ethic and discipline to be able to get myself to where I want to be? And here I am. It seems to be working because uh, we're five games in and you have two interceptions, which ties a career high for you. Fires over the middle. Intercepted, Cam Bynum. Cam, there are a lot of games left. Right. Do you have a new goal of how many you want to get this season? Yeah, I want to touch at least six picks. Okay. And I feel like um, that goal is looking realistic right now. And that last one picked off Aaron <laughs> Rodgers. Yeah. No small feat there. What do you think you'll remember the most about it? My celebration. I knew I think that. Say that. <laughs> that, was the, that was the number one thing. Um, <laughs> If I have, if I make a play, I'm gonna have fun. And I feel like the only way to have fun on the football field is when you're making plays. And he moonwalked it, Cam Bynum did. Football's fun and everything, but the most fun you can have is balling out. So um, I always wanna have something ready. You feeling the pressure yet of having to keep coming up with these? Yeah, I'm, I'm over here. Uh, it's a little pressure trying to think of something good every single week, but the way I can, the way I'm creative and can think back and find the little small legendary things that everybody will relate to. Um, I, I have some some celebrations cooking, so I just have to make more plays. That's a dub, baby, turn me up! Move! 